Today we're going to quickly cover a monogram in Lightburn. Uh, super easy to do, uh, just a couple of little quirks you, you need to know about to be able to make this happen. And this isn't just with monograms, this is being able to build graphics, weld graphics, cut graphics. Um, it's uh, basically the, the, the same methodology with just about everything you use. So here I have an A, and what we're gonna do is we're going to split that A in half uh, for the most part, and we're going to attach a couple bars on it, and then we're gonna write the name Adams in the middle and attach it. Uh, again, super easy to do, um, but a couple of tips and tricks prior to doing that. Um, text. Uh, in some other uh, programs, you have to make sure that the text is converted away from text and into a path or lines. So it's no longer um, editable text. You can't type, you cannot change the font once you do that. Um, in Lightburn, it is not necessary, uh, but it can be done if you needed to manipulate the graphic. Like right now, I don't believe we can edit the nodes on that. Uh, so if we had a wispy letter and we wanted to adjust some of the ends of it or the attachment points uh, we could do that with node ed editing but um, just know that you can't do that until you convert it to a path and how we do that is to right click on it convert to path and like I said right now you can see that I can still change the font I can adjust all of the normal text stuff. Um, once I do this, I can I can manipulate it um, around a path. I can uh, do curving text if I wanted to. Once I convert it to a path, I can't do any of that stuff. Convert to path, and now it is lines. I don't have any of my options up here anymore. Um, it is separate, so the interior lines are separate. And now I can work on moving stuff around if I had to with the node edits. But we're not doing that today. I just wanted to give you a quick idea of what the path is and why to use it. Um, this is not a, one of the major reasons to use converting over to a path, but it's a good idea to know that that's available. Since these are now broken apart because I did convert it to a path, this is going to work with anything that you want to weld together or anything you want to cut. It needs to be, um, it, it needs to be a grouped. So if I tried to use this box to cut and, and ask yourself questions, uh, I'm huge with this ask yourself questions thing because it works for me. I remember how to do things. Uh, I want the A to be cut out by the box. So A to be cut out by B. But you notice that that inner triangle of the A did not get cut. And why is that? Well, because it was not grouped together. Once we have it grouped together, then we can say A to be cut out by box, and we can cut it out. Um, then what I typically would do would be Create a line, so an attachment point for the words. Um, I'm going to command copy and then option V for paste in place. And the reason why I want to paste this in place, um, typically I will have it aligned and ready to go. I don't in this one. Um, move that up a little bit. We'll stretch it out a little on the bottom. And now we can align all of these. So as long as you have a slight overlap, and you can see that there's, it's hanging over to the right a little bit more than to the left, and I'm going to guess that that's because the text is a little off. Yeah. Okay, and I can slide it over a hair just to make it look more centered. So as long as there's overlap in these areas, and you select everything, you should be able to There you go. Join all those together. So we're just welding those graphics together. Then we could take Atoms, which is still a font, as you can see. 
Uh, it's still text, can still be manipulated as text. If we wanted to change the font, we can. Um, say we wanted to use, um, let's use that one, make it a little bit larger. So as long as we have a little bit of overlap, there should be no issues with, with getting these letters to weld together. We can condense this down just a hair so the A and the S are grabbing onto the ends because if we're cutting this out, uh, we want to make sure that there's no uh, easily breakable um, parts to it. So here we go, and I will weld them. And there you have a Adams monogram. Um, if we go back a few steps, um, I see a lot of people having an issue with maybe welding it to a circle. Uh, let's do a line offset. We'll go inward a little bit. And we'll take our atoms and we'll stick it in the center here and blow it out a little bit. And let's let's put a little uh, little flavor in this. Let's take some scroll and if you search scroll graphic clip art, uh, you could find stuff like this that you'll be able to use. Um, my recommendation is um, use the tools and Creative Commons license or free um, stuff that that isn't going to have any copyright issues, um, or you can just create your own or manipulate ones that you can get offline. Uh, copy image, paste, and I'm going to want this large one in the center. I think that one will cut out well. I think it'll look nice. So I'm going to trace image. Um, I don't want to have to get rid of all of that stuff, so I'm going to box this out real quick. I will have to get rid of the top of that, but that's okay. Get rid of that. Delete. We will select this, ungroup it, and then select these little bits and pieces that we don't want going to regroup this part and then I'm going to shrink it down just enough to fit in here. Okay, and then I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste in place. So um, there's two ways to do that. You can go edit uh, paste in place and usually right along the side there it'll give you the hotkey or the shortcuts uh, for that. So paste in place, I'm going to move it down and I'm going to mirror it. Okay, so now that that's done, we will make sure that it's all centered. Make sure it's all aligned. And I want to weld this to the circle. Now this is this is the key here. And this is where a lot of people have problems. If I go to weld this, it's not gonna happen. And why is that? Um, it's not sure what to do, what to weld to, because you have basically an open line here. This is not a graphic, that's just a line. Now if we join those two together, and now they're grouped, now we have a ring. And that's that's going to be an actual graphic that could be welded to. So before it was just a line on the inside and a line on the outside. And basically Lightburn doesn't know what you're trying to weld to. If you're just trying to weld that line, typically it'll just remove everything on the inside. Um, so once these are grouped together, then you can select other graphics to be, you know, other, other overlapping graphics to be welded to it. So we'll select, second select this top scroll weld, bottom scroll, or I guess we can do a union, a union of two shapes or weld it together. And then make sure that we have good overlap on top and on bottom for the, the words and then we can weld that as well. And that's really about it. Um, 
I don't go over the tracing tool and some of the other ones because there's so many other videos out there both that we've produced that Lightburn's produced and other people um, but this gives you the basics of how to cut letters and add stuff for a monogram nice and easy um, guys I appreciate it once again make sure you like and subscribe and we will continue to produce more content for you uh, to help you be more profitable in your business and, and uh, learn some of these cool aspects of the program and lasers quickly. Thanks guys.